All STEM skills are relevant to the energy resources sector. From the engineers that design new projects, to the researchers that analyse the data, to the mathematicians that turn that data into data analytics, and also to those creative innovators that are coming up with new technology to help decarbonise the energy sector. The energy transition is driving new innovation and technology and in the energy resources sector it's going to require critical thinking. These new energies are going to come and some are going to replace the traditional energy that we have today. In the next 10 years we're going to see a huge transformation. We're going to see offshore wind farms, we're going to see hydrogen powering trucks, we're going to see heavy industry having to hugely decarbonise, whether it's through carbon capture or maybe it's new technology that's going to support them. And we need people with the skills in STEM to really help drive this energy transition and support these enabling technologies and also drive through the supply chain. If I could go back in time and talk to my 15 year old self, I'd say to her, just take some time Think about what your passions are, think about what your interests are and really do some research to try and find out what suits you, what suits your personality. When I grew up I was in regional Victoria and so I didn't know about STEM at the time. It was only those that were sort of more top of the class that were the ones that would study science. So I think definitely now in this day and age it's really important to see the decisions that you make now will form your career journey. Something that you decide now to do at uni or vet or whatever it might be will just be the beginning of your journey that you'll have for many years to come. For students looking forward to getting involved in the energy resources sector, my advice is to look towards the future. Look at what the future jobs are. Look at what your passions are. They're going to need critical infrastructure, they're going to need new ideas, they're going to need creative thinkers. It's not just about those people who are more tending to go into typical science programs or maths programs etc. They're going to need these really creative minds as well, problem solvers and people that can really help shape and form this energy transition.